gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you like my vibe, give me a like and a subscribe. Anybody who has, thank you. It means a lot to me. If you have donated to my channel in any way, thank you. Scorpio, I look at all of you as my blessing. You are definitely part of my blessing and you have been such a big part of my journey and I thank you so very much. I am currently in the middle of relocating, so personal readings are on hold until March 1st. If you would like to schedule a FaceTime reading, you can get on my website, hit the Schedule a FaceTime tab, not the FaceTime in the product. Schedule a FaceTime and you can see my schedule. That being said, I've had a lot of unfortunate things and um, people just being so unkind and so um, mean. I I'm relocating and I am sorry that this doesn't fit into your schedule or um, you didn't buy a next day reading that you purchased the regular reading. I go out of my way to keep my prices low because I want everybody to enjoy, but what's happening is, is select people are ruining it to a point where I may have to raise my prices so volume is not so high because I cannot keep up. I'm trying. So with that being said, um, God does not like ugly. And the people who have been unkind to me, I don't know what you want me to do. I am relocating. So um, I do apologize if your reading is not to you in the, the time frame you want it to be, or if I can't fit you into my FaceTime schedule right now. But I am relocating. And, and if anybody's ever done that, I have been going back and forth. Um, three hours each way, um, once a week. I, I'm trying to pack. I'm trying to do everything here. And I am a very hard worker and care for you all a lot. So if that is not enough, I have decided that I can no longer, there's nothing I can do. So, um, with that being said, um, I would love to read for you, but please understand that I am really overwhelmed right now with other priorities in my life. Um, Let's hop into this reading. I actually brought my singing bowl because I, I was keeping it for my new setup, but I seen it yesterday when I was at my new place and we are going to start using it to cleanse the energy. Um, before that though, our um, affirmation for the day. I can manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself. Period. I can manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself. One more time. I can manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself, Scorpio. Yes, 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 you can. Um, loving yourself, putting yourself first is always the most important thing. Always. Um, you cannot fill somebody else's cup when your cup is one of dry, right? You have to be able to have a full cup. Hence why it is the nine of cups, which, um, you know, or the nine of pentacles, for example, um, is a single abundant, um, healthy person. Um, you should only need one cup and one pentacle to fill you when we're talking about tarot. So, if you are not at the nine of cups, if you are at the five of cups right now, or you are at the five of pentacles right now, for example, that is because you need to pour more inside you, baby. Start loving you more. Um, for a lot of you, somebody has depleted self-love from you. They not only took the love you had to give um, them, but they took your love from yourself as well. That happens often. So taking some time out right now to really build yourself back up, really fill your cup back up is where it needs to be. And for a lot of you, that is what you're doing. And I'm so proud of you. I am so proud. So I'm going to um, use my singing bowl three times before we start the reading. If you're wearing headphones, you may want to be careful. You could be get a little loud. Let's begin. Thank you. 
for the energy of the room now. Community and transcend. As soon as I seen this card, I felt love transcends. That's just what I heard as soon as I pulled this energy for you. Um, universal oneness here and hood love, baby. Some of you may be in love with someone who is on the street a little bit, who, um, you know, is in your hood though, right? You could be in love with somebody who's in your community. Um, coming up in the next 48, I'm asking the divine, what is coming for you in the next 48 hours? It is Friday, um, February 24th, <clears throat> but 24 hours from when you see this reading. Something in your community um, here, uh, somebody in your community, somebody in your hood. Um, I love the graphics of these cards. It could be very important to you, but transcending, transcending pain possibly, but love transcends is exactly what I heard. Holy Spirit, please tell me what is going to be important. Who is going to be important to Scorpio in the next 48 hours? Scorpio energy, baby. Mm, you guys are always so strong, standing strong here in your energy. Result, like purification, resurrection here. In the next 48 hours, you could start feeling like you have got your power back, like you're taking your power back. Um, Scorpio, like really standing in your power, really filling your own cup, really respecting yourself, right? Really showing yourself love and respect in the next 48 hours. A Pisces could be very important. Ninth house energy, spiritual values, long-term thinking, travel. Some of you could be going away for the weekend, um, being part of something that overwhelms you though, right? Something about your um, fears, your their secrets possibly, okay? Their secrets that are possibly... Um, between you and another person, you may have some secrets, they may have some secrets, but there's something here that's going to be shared for a lot of you in the next um, 48 hours here. Something about your spiritual values as well could be changing in the next 48. You could have a dream that's going to be very important to you. Oh yeah, so somebody here that is possibly coming into love bomb you, and we have the empath and the narcissist, the paragon, and um, somebody could want to come in here and, uh, you know, love bomb you or work on things. This person may not even realize they're a love bomber. Love bombers don't typically know I'm going to come in here and I'm going to love bomb and then I'm going to run back out. Love bombers come in thinking, oh, I just want to have fun. I just want to give Scorpio love. I want to show Scorpio how attracted I am to them. I want to you know, have hot sex or I want something. But then what happens most of the time, some people do, there are some very, unfortunately, unhealed people out here. But most of the time, the case is this. They want to come in, they want to have fun, but then they, it's like um, a dog chasing a squirrel. Then they see something else and they just go. They just, you know, split. They just do whatever they want or they've gotten their fill so now they, they don't take time to message you. They don't care, you know, anymore to um, hit you up. They're not messaging you. They're not responding. And, and I feel for a lot of you, this has happened repetitively. Whatever is going on here in the next 48 hours, it is definitely something that has happened before. This person could have high narcissistic tendencies. This could have been a one-sided relationship. I'm sorry, y'all. I've been up. I got up at four today. I've been getting up at four to try to get some video readings done before I start my FaceTime and then pack in the evening. So coffee is essential right now. Um, yeah, this person here could have strung you along. For a lot of you in the next 48 hours, you could meet somebody who's going to want to have a one night stand. If you are on a dating website, beware of people just wanting to take your sexual energy your beautiful, healing, sexual energy, Scorpio. Um, I feel you, for some of you, you could be meeting somebody new in the next 48 hours. For others, you're going to plan and set a date with this person that sabotaged your connection. You mirror um, wounds off one another in some way. You mirror an image off each other. That often happens. We, we don't even realize it, but 
you have abandonment issues, they have abandonment issues, but you all deal with it in different ways. That can happen a lot. But having fun with your friends, living happily single, for a lot of you, you're going to be living in the moment, going out, having fun, and you possibly may meet a new person or run into this love bomber. For some of you, you're going to get a late night text message. You're going to get a text message from this person when they're out, when they're out having fun with their friends. Um, if you have children to this person, they may try to hit on you this weekend when they come and get the kids for example, right? Or when they're dropping off the kids. For others, you may be out having fun. For, for some of you, um, you, this person is cheating on somebody else. They're living a double life. They're cheating with you. Or they um, are caught between you and a third party. They could have a secret, um, uh, uh, you know, a sneaky link or they could have one of those apps that all of their text messages disappear. Whatever the case is, there's a lot of drama on both sides. This person is exhausted. They're tired of living this double life. Yeah. Wow. This person can be promiscuous a lot of the times. They can, um, I feel, they feel they're just living happily single, but there it's really unhealed wounds out here running around. They could be in a relationship for purely beneficial reasons or Scorpio. This person could just want to come in and take your sexual energy. For some of you, you could meet a new person and have a one night stand this weekend. And as long as you are just, um, you know, uh, understanding of that, things happen, right? We're human. This is, you know, we can talk about whatever we want, but the bottom line is we are human beings that crave um, intimacy. And for some of you, you may be intimate with somebody over the weekend, but just know that this person really does just want um, to have a one night stand. It's clear. I feel there the, for a lot of you, this person is heading towards you, but not sure, not sure what they want. Either caught between you and a lifestyle, the hood, or caught between you and another person. This person is caught between something, their community and you. And like for some of you, this person here, um, has a community, a lifestyle that they need to uphold, whether it's that they're very wealthy or they're for the streets. They have a lifestyle that they want to um, appear to be, you know, living. Like they want to look like a playa. They want to look like um, whatever a woman is. They want, they want to, you know, go out and club. They want to do like wear the best clothes, dr dress the best. They want to look like they have the most um, you're almost there though. Whatever the case is, don't give up. A new beginning for you is close. The sun is rising, baby, in Scorpio's life, whether it is with this person or on your own. Okay. So just know that this person could have always canceled on you. They could tell a third party that they're wait working somewhere or, or make some lie up and say that they're staying somewhere else and come and spend the night with you. For others, this person's going to come in and no longer hide their feelings. They're coming in to tell you exactly how they feel. Tell me about this one night stand spirit. String along. For some of you, this person could have strung you along for a long time. They could have told you that they wanted to be with you, that y'all were going to be together, that they were going to leave their wife or husband, or they, they, they strung you along and said, you know, they were going to get their act together, that they were going to go sit down somewhere and heal, but it has been way too long and there has been no change. Yes, yeah, something's happening very soon here in the springtime or soon. A new love though, for some of you, you could possibly meet a very sweet new lover. Um, there could be a pregnancy. So if you can still get pregnant, be careful. Some of you here um, are definitely meeting somebody new while you're out and about, possibly when you are um, uh, at a work function or socializing with coworkers, you could run in to a new person or this past person. It just depends on where you are. I feel here you have been reinventing yourself. You have been reinventing yourself after this person sabotaged your relationship. And spirit is saying that this person is a player. They just want fun, guys. They could be younger than you. They're not ready for to settle down here. This person does not want a serious commitment here. There's competition. It's been a whirlwind. And again, with love bombing and sweeping you off your feet, 
pay attention to red flags, okay? Because this person is going to be persistent. Um, you're being guided here to, to wait. Nothing's not happening right yet. Don't rush. There's a beautiful new love around the corner for you if you want it. There is a brand new lover around the corner, a very beautiful one. Um, right now just could have been not the right time, right? Some of you may be actually in counseling. Some of you may be seeing a therapist because this past person really did a number on you. Um, others here, you, um, your community, there's something I'm feeling about your community that really hurt you. There could, yeah, there's, there's discord amongst friends and family. There could be gossip and rumors about you or um, they've took your person's side and you're, you're even left with no friends because, you know, that was your life, your person and their friends. There's something here that happened with the community because of this breakup or because of this person. You are about to receive messages contacting you here, um, possibly a text message or a phone call. It just depends um, from a former flame. But pay attention to the signs. Pay attention to the red flags. This person could have discord with, amongst their friends and family. I feel they want to find harmony with you. They, they may want to plan a date to get together. Some of you may just hear from them in the next 48. You may not see them. Um, you're, you're, they just want to, yeah, it's going to be an unexpected surprise. Some of you, it's going to be a very unexpected surprise that you meet a new lover. You may not even be looking And a lot of the times law of attraction manifestation. That is how it works. You once wished something, you put it out there in the universe and you stop thinking about it. So it comes to you. For some of you, you may meet a new lover and you're not even looking, right? Now, of course, don't bleed all over somebody else. I would never tell you to start dating if you are not healed yet. But for a lot of you, you're ready. And that is a beautiful thing. Don't let past lovers hold you back. Don't let them continue to hurt you years, years, and years later. I feel for a lot of you, this is going to be unexpected. But you could get an unexpected invitation from this past person. Something spontaneous to take a day trip to go away or to go for dinner or or at the very least have a conversation. Yeah, some of you here, the sun is coming back out. I feel like um, progress has been happening. But spirit is saying it's a no, that this person needs, this past person needs to be a no, y'all. Now, you, you all, we all have free will, but you have been becoming a better per person. You have been growing emotionally. You possibly are relocating like me. You're growing so much inside. You're learning so many lessons. And I feel like, um, you, you know, by the summertime, you may start a passionate new adventure with somebody new. But for now, there's nothing happening quite yet besides this past person popping in and out occasionally for intimacy. So you have to be careful, Spirit is saying, right? Now just might not be the right time to try this because this person needs to grow. They need to get better at communicating. Um, and, and again, I've watched you change and grow so much. I'm trying to release my attachments to identify how I can change too. Like I said, whoever I'm channeling today, even this past person knows. Even your um, person on your mind sees how much you've changed and grown and, and became a better person. Congratulations, Scorpio. I'm so proud of you. Give yourself a round of applause because this person even sees it. Everybody sees it. I feel it. You are standing up. You are fighting for your life. And if you're not quite there, you will get there. This past person sees you. And this is the thing when uh, that I say all the time. You send an energetic um, signal to them when you start focusing on you. And this past person can feel it. They know that you're working on yourself. They know that you are growing. Um, the planet is activating us to heal and bring us closer. Um, yeah, they're, 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 deaf, whether they're being activated or they know. They can feel you. Wow, karmic ties though a lot. I've been giving my power away to people, um, other people in my life. I'm not happy. 
karmic behaviors, people or situation are playing a role in what is happening to me right now. It is hard to see my way out. They're just clearly unhappy in what they're doing. They are not happy at all. This person here sees you changing, sees you growing, sees your ideals changing, your spiritual values changing, you thinking long term now, you really taking, making moves to better yourself now. They see it and they are starting to want to change too, but they have so much, many ties to their community and another lover. You are definitely having triumph here. Definitely standing in your power, Scorpio. You have the world in your hands, the world on your toe. <laughs> you have the world in your hands right now. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Who do you want to be? You can do anything you want to do here. This person sees you growing. I feel like it's felt like it feels like forever for some of you. Like it's been forever since you've talked to this person. Wow. Ace of cups, ace of wands. This is absolutely beautiful, Scorp. You are going to have a passionate, new, loving beginning, a creative, new, passionate beginning. And whether that is with yourself, with this person or with another, you definitely are. Now, in the next 48 hours, you could definitely have passion with somebody. Ace of Wands. This person wants to give you their wand or they want to get your wand for sure. But they are in a night energy. They are definitely not coming in to stay. You could be very happy to hear from this person in the next 48 hours because, um, you know, you, you miss them. But they're coming into you in the Knight of Wands, player energy, Nine of Wands, beat up, torn up, beat down. And you may be surprised on how you view this person. You may not even see them the same way. Your eyes, physically, you may not see them. Now tell me, why is this person exhausted? So, yeah, because of lies, hidden deceit. They're tired of lying. They're tired of lying to themselves, and they're tired of lying to the, their community, the people around them. They're tired of these karmic ties. What are they hiding, Spirit? What are they cleaning up here? So they're cleaning their phone up, possibly from a third party. Yeah, that they've been juggling, that they've been um, definitely trying to manifest you back. Now, you could be dealing with a fixed sign, an air sign, a Leo, um, a Virgo, um, another water sign, perhaps. But this person here is trying to set priorities now. They want to set a priority to try to get to um, you. They want to set a priority here to um, come in and set a date. They want to charm you in some way, yeah, because there's been friction, conflict, putting you in competition. You all might have a standoff with this person, really. You literally, you all are going to have a standoff here because this person's put you in competition so much, so many times. You are just tired. You, you're tired. You're beat up and you're ready to progress. You're ready to, to get moving. You don't want to deal with this anymore. Um, what, what about the heart lead spirit? What are they coming in to? They're, they're using, yeah, that they're telling you that they're still holding on to you, that there's been unexpected setbacks, that they're holding on very tight to you, that um, they could tell you as well that one of the reasons why they're staying in this um, karmic situation is for money. They could actually be honest with you and tell you money, children, priorities, community, whatever the case is. I've been not doing what makes me happy. I haven't been following my heart. And um, that there's been set a setback of sorts. Um, I feel, what about in a relationship for fairly beneficial reasons? Yeah, this is a needed change for this person. They need this change greatly. But they've been in this illusion, in, in this delusion, trying to make decisions, seven of cups energy. But here comes communications, eight of wands, and it's going to happen fast. This could be definitely an air sign, fire sign. What about here are karmic behaviors and ties? This person has behaviors as well as karmic ties. Yeah, it's people from their past, six of cups here. This person is still linked to people in their past that is is very unhealthy um they 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 are they could be linked to karmic people that they work with 
work for. There's something about their work. They work around toxic people as well. Um, their work environment is not healthy for them. Um, I feel they're, they could work for a family business for some of you. Yeah, they're filled with self-doubt. That's why they're narcissistic. That's why they have narcissistic traits is because they're so doubtful about if they're making the right decision, slowly moving towards you. Knight of um, Pentacles, but y'all, this person, there's not a king or a queen to be seen. We have every knight in the deck out here besides the Knight of Cups. And um, so they're gonna, they're slowly coming in. This person could be focused on work right now and they're gonna tell you that, but the wheel is here a lucky twist of fate for you. Um, this person could be very focused on work and that's what they're going to tell you is they've been focused on work. They've been focused on saving money, possibly to remove their self from a karmic toxic situation. But for a lot of you, this person doesn't just have a third party that's toxic. They, their fucking life is toxic. Their community is toxic. Everybody around them, they could have a drug addiction. They could sell drugs. That could be one of the reasons why their work is so toxic because what they do for work is, is hustle. They could hustle in some way. They could have a gambling a prob problem. Literally, we have gambling problem and drug addiction all in the same spread, all in the same pool. They're never satisfied though. This person always gambles with something good. They gambled with your love. They gamble all the time with everything in their life. They take a chance when they took a gamble on your love, hoping you would still be there. They're mentally unstable. They're, they could be literally off their meds. So they're extremely angry right now. They feel trapped in this karmic cycle, but they're non fucking committal point blank period. They're a smooth talker. Yeah, they're trapped in a karmic situation, bound to unhealthy things and um, violent at times. They have a short fuse. They could be really angry as of lately because um, they're just so miserable. This person may be having literal, um, having like, you know, breakdowns, meltdowns, whatever you want to say. Um, I feel they could use words as, um, as swords. This person just is bound to unhealthy things, trapped in unhealthy circumstances. This could be the one, yeah. See, this person wants you to keep an open mind. They're definitely part of your, um, definitely part of your your spiritual path here. This was all meant to be, but the time has come to clear your energy. Now, for a lot of you, this person needs to release their ex. They need to release their ex. And for a lot of you, you need to release this person, let go and allow this situation to unfold naturally. And your soulmate may differ from your different type and expectations. This person may be a lot different compared to other people that you would date or a new person that you all might meet, a new person that you may see on a dating site or you may see out in the community is a soulmate. And it's somebody that you wouldn't typically date. And spirit is saying, keep an open mind because maybe your type isn't suiting you. Maybe your type is um, one of the problems, right? Maybe you should start looking for a different type of person. Whatever the case is, I wish you so much luck. Now, y'all, I have some new beautiful cards and it's about learning the art of letting go, right? The art of being able to know when to hold them and know when to pull them. So every reading, we are going to pull one card on what you need to surrender, what you should be working on surrendering. It is healthy to set boundaries in a relationship. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. No. And that is what I am learning too, that I cannot make everybody happy, although I try. And I've been saying no, and it's hard for me. It's hard for me to tell readers no, but I have to, I, I can't, um, you know, I read from five in the morning until 5 p.m., 7 p.m. every night. So I have got to set boundaries here. And some of you, you have to do the same. What I'm saying is I am learning how to surrender, 
how to say no. I am learning how to not always be able to make everybody happy and be okay with that. So some of you may be learning the same thing. Nevertheless, you can tell this person no. You can say no. I am not going to meet you. No, we are not going to have sex. You are allowed to say no, Scorpio. Um, that is well within your right, whether it is here in this love situation or out there and in different situations in your life, you are allowed to say no. It is healthy and you have got to put you first, but it is hard, I know, and I'm learning the same lesson with you all. So tell yourself every day and every way, I get better and better. I am a winner. All I do is win. Love and rain.